What is going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to take a look at the newest weapon class to the Destiny universe. But before we go any further, a massive shout out to Geeks for the gameplay. He's an amazing PvP player who streams on a regular basis doing trials, runs and much much more. Be sure to check him out via the links within the video description. Okay, so what do we know about this new weapon class? Well, first things first, it isn't actually a new weapon type to us Destiny players because it's basically what we already know as the Queen Breaker's Bow and the Sleeper Simulant. These kind of weapons now within Destiny 2 will be known as a linear fusion rifle. So they're basically fusion rifles but fire a single shot unlike a normal fusion which shoots multiple shots after the initial charge. The linear shoots a single shot but still has that charge time. Linear fusion rifles are kind of what you get if you cross a fusion and a sniper. The Queen Breaker's Bow is a perfect example of this. While at close range, a normal fusion rifle can easily kill your opponent within PvP when hitting them to the body. The linear can only one hit with a headshot, but the range on linear fusions compared to normal fusions is absolutely insane. They basically have sniper rifle range and this in my opinion is their purpose coming into Destiny 2. The linear fusion will be a weapon within the power weapon slot along with rocket launchers, grenade launchers, sniper rifles, shotguns and fusion rifles. A weapon loader I still ain't sure about and the effects it will have on Destiny 2's PvE side but we will have to wait and see. Now the gameplay footage in the background by Giggs is of the first ever homecoming mission within Destiny 2 where you have to defend the tower from the Red Legion's invasion which we end up failing and it sparks the new story behind Destiny 2. Used against the Cabal here we can see it has amazing accuracy and handling and really doesn't bounce an inch when shooting. We also see like with other heavies it doesn't hold any more ammo so the question is is this a weapon you would use over a rocket launcher, a grenade launcher, especially within PvE, weapons which are capable of taking out groups of enemies? I'm not sure I will, unless it performs like the Salipa Simulant, more so than the Queen Breaker's Bow for PvE, doing serious damage, but I don't think it will judging by the PvE gameplay in the background. To me it's more like the Queen Breaker's, but for sure will be a fun weapon to use within PvP. A weapon much like the Queen Breaker's, a weapon I absolutely love using for the fun factor. Now it is important to remember that this is only a build version of the game which was being played on PC. No doubt many many things will change within the actual game. This weapon and the way it works could be one of them things. So the linear fusion in this video being used is called the Tarantula. 3 FR. We see its stats as well as its charge time and mag size. Interestingly, its stability and handling seem relatively low, yet, judging by the gameplay, you would think it would be high. It fires a long range precision energy bolt and has a faster time to aim down sights. Now, whether this weapon class has a major impact on the game, which I highly doubt it will, it's for sure going to be at least a fun weapon to use. And at the moment, that's all the benefits I can see coming from this weapon if it's going to be used over other power weapons. And guys, that is it for another video. Thanks as always for stopping by and the continued support within these dry times of destiny. If you enjoyed your stay, leaving a like is of much importance. I will, as always, guys, see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.